hello dear students let us continue the previous class wherever we have left okay the previous topic so in the last class we were discussing about the past tense and its various forms the first form the first kind of past tense we have discussed that is the simple past tense today let us see the next past tense that is past continuous tense okay now what is this past continuous tense past continuous tense is basically formed by was or where and also along with the second form and since it is continuous and we have already discussed what do you mean by continuous in the chapter of present tense so it has to be in the ing form all right and the negative is formed by putting not okay you have to put the word not after was or where as it is applicable and what about the interrogative the interrogative is formed by putting was or where before the subject remember it has to be before the subject and yes as usual it must end with a question mark as there is an interrogative now there are some uses of it which we have to take note of the first uses of past continuous tenses it is used to express an action that was in progress at some point in the past okay which have been like you know which was going on but in the past it was going on not that it is happening right now for example i was playing on the lawn of my house when she came it means when that person came i was playing at that moment not now i am not playing now next another example when i reached home it was still raining okay next uses of past continuous tenses to express two or more actions which is in progress and at the same time okay now for example while i was doing my homework my sister was playing outside so two actions progress at the same time another thing the students were talking when the teacher was writing so the students they were talking and when they were talking when the teacher was writing on the blackboard the third use of past continuous tenses to express an often repeated past action okay now something which gets repeated very often but the thing which is getting repeated is something undesirable you do not desire for that you do not wish for that all right now example if i tell you he he was always haunting her okay so this this particular uses since it's getting repeated and that too it's an undesirable action so you can use a word like always okay always or continually uh, such type of words can be used another uses of past continuous tenses we you we also use past continuous tense in descriptions for example john was playing the piano and madhuri was singing okay descriptions another example let me give you all the guests were dancing except ramu okay next uses of past continuous tenses it is also used in indirect speech as the equivalent of present continuous tense you know what is direct and indirect i hope you are done with your this previous in the previous classes in the previous year direct now for example let me give an example of a direct and direct speech okay prachi said and then it has to be you have to put the punctuation mark comma after which open double inverted comma and within double inverted comma you have to write prachi said i am traveling by the jan shatabdi close double inverted comma now this is direct now if you want to you know transform this into indirect and that too in a past continuous form how will you write prachi said that she was traveling by the jan shatabdi okay next uses of past continuous is that we also use past continuous in polite questions about how a period of time was spent for example what were you doing when i called you okay and the last uses of past continuous tenses for unfulfilled plans the plans which are not fulfilled and you can use verbs like hope okay h o p hope or plan etc like i'll tell you an example i was hoping to find a new shirt okay so it's an unfulfilled plan but you did not find 
the new shirt okay i i was hoping to find a new shirt but i didn't find one actually that's what the sentence mean but there are certain things that you have to take note of while using past continuous tense that is you know this tense tells that the action was in progress at a certain point of time in the past and was not completed by that time the first thing you have to take note of it was in progress at that time but it did not get completed okay next point to remember is that this tense the past continuous tense does not tell when the action began and when it ended the third point past continuous tense is frequently used with simple past and the simple past is used to show the completed action and additionally this particular tense also shows some other actions and the last point that to take note of is that the duration of this completed action is very short while the other action goes on for a longer duration okay so these are some of the point which you need to take note of while discussing past continuous tense next we have past perfect followed by past perfect continuous tense so let us discuss past perfect as well what is past perfect past perfect tense is formed with had plus the past participle which is also called the third form of the verb okay and what if you want to make a negative past perfect tense sentence then you have to form it by putting not after the word had h a d had because past and what about interrogative the interrogative is formed by putting had before the subject and as usual question mark at the end now there are also certain uses for past perfect tense that we need to take note of i will share with you one by one okay the first uses is that to express an action that got completed before a certain moment in the past for example the message came after he had left the office okay or another example if i tell you it's already mentioned in your text you could refer the textbook at 17 years she had passed her bcom examination next uses of past perfect tenses to express an action in the past which was completed before another action and also that also in the past remember that that means an action okay which took place in the past but it got completed before only before another action but that another action also must have happened in the past okay he had locked all the rooms before we left the house now lucy he had locked so this is an action it got completed in the past locked l o c k e d but when did he lock he locked all the rooms before we left the house so when did we left the house even that action got completed past in the past before we could leave the house the rooms were locked that's what the sentence actually mean the second example is that for the same uses i had already known the result when she rang me up that means by the time she rang the person already knew the result okay so that action got completed before another action could take place before she could ring up she the person knew the result but when did she ring up even she rang up in the past so both the things took place in the past it's very simple just listen what i am saying properly and you can get okay next uses is that to express unfulfilled desires of the past example if if only she had not wasted her time she could have succeeded see unfulfilled desire that means even she did not wish to fulfill i mean sorry even she did not wish to dis, uh, waste her time but however it got wasted and as a result she couldn't succeed since she has wasted so that's what the sentence mean i repeat the sentence if only she had not wasted if only she had not wasted which means she had already wasted okay if only she had not wasted her time she could have succeeded next uses is that to express possible conditions of the past something you know which was possible in the past but right now it isn't possible but in the past it it was quite possible it would have happened it in the past example 
if you had worked hard you would have passed so by now you don't have any more because results for example this sentence means that now time is up now there is no point regretting because results are declared that's what the sentence means if you had worked hard you would have passed which means now the person has already failed okay but if you would have worked hard if the person would have worked hard in the past then the person could have passed so there were some possibility there were some chances there were some condi possible conditions okay that is where past perfect tense is used even in past perfect tense there are certain points to remember that is the first one is that if one action happens at the same time as another okay then we do not use the past perfect tense i repeat if one action is happens at the same time as another then we do not use past perfect let me give an example when kareem's father saw the result he was horrified now see in this case we will not write that when kareem's father had seen the result no okay why because when kareem's father saw means that the moment the father the that particular time when the father saw the result he was horrified means both the action took place at the same time so in such case when both the actions are taking place at the same time we do not use past perfect tense another point to remember is that if one action comes immediately after the other and it is connected even in that case we do not use past perfect example when mrs bunsel heard the baby cry she ran to pick it up okay when mrs bunsel heard the baby cry she ran to pick it up in this case we will not use the word i'll i'll just now supposing if i want to make it in the form of past perfect generally what we will do we will write when mrs bunsel had heard right which is wrong no why because see one action that means the moment mrs mrs bunsel heard the baby cry okay when one action comes immediately after the other what did she do she ran to pick it up this both the action happen one after another and it is connected with one another so in such cases we do not use past perfect tense okay the next is past perfect continuous tense what is past perfect continuous tense it is very simple in if you have to form a past perfect continuous tense if you want to make a sentence then what do we need to do is that it is formed with had been h a d had been plus the second form and also remember past perfect continuous which means ing form has to be there and what about negative the negative is formed by putting not after the word had an interrogative the word interrog if you want to form an interrogative past perfect continuous then tense then you have to put the word had h a d had before the subject now what are the uses of past perfect continuous tense it has got very limited uses the first is that when we need to express an action that began before a certain time in the past and continued up to that time or even stopped just before it okay in both in both the scenario we can use it i repeat the first uses of past perfect continuous is to express an action supposing we want to describe about an action which began before a certain time in the past okay and it continued it continued up to the this it continued up to that particular time and or you can also say it, it stopped just before it just before that particular time for example she had been sleeping for an hour when i reached her house okay or let me give another example until he reached class 8 rakesh had been studying in a village school so see here an action began before a certain time i in the first ex, in the first example she had been sleeping for an hour when i reached her house okay that means by the time when i reached the house it was already an hour that she had been sleeping in the second example rakesh was studying in up till 8 standard okay where i mean not up till 8 standard sorry up till 7 standard rakesh was studying in a village school 
until the time he reached 8. That means once Rakesh reached 8th standard, now he is no more in a village school. But when did he reach 8th standard? Is the time specifically mentioned? No. Okay. Now, next uses of past perfect continuous tenses to express a repeated action in the past as a continuous action. It's a very simple thing. Example, I'll tell you. She had tried many times to phone him. Okay. Or you can say that she had been trying. This is the best one. She had been trying to phone him. Okay. That means a repeated action was going on in the past continuously. This action was happening continuously in the past. So these are the two uses of the past perfect continuous tense. And with this, we end this chapter of past tense. All right. Just go through the text, okay? And I'll be sharing the TLM, the teaching learning material along with you. Go through those points, whatever I'll be mentioning in the TLM, okay? And even after that, if you have any query, any doubt, feel free to get back to me. Study well. God bless you.